Knock, knock, who's there? Okay. Well, our next guest was on the box of cornflakes. A Barbie by Mattel was made in her honor. She appeared on Jay Leno with Michelle Obama. In 2002, at the Olympic trials on July 1st, she placed first all around, and then she secured the only guaranteed spot on the women's Olympic team. She's the author of two faith-based books, and her birthday is on New Year's Eve. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gabby Douglas. Yay! Hello, hello. <laughs> I wanted hi. to Hi, I wanted to introduce you in a fun and dynamic way. So congratulations on all your success thus far. You have achieved uh, extraordinary greatness. And so it's a pleasure and an honor to speak with you today. So Tell us about your thoughts about the Olympics still happening in Tokyo, because you were in Tokyo. Well, thank you so much for having me. Love the introduction. <laughs> um, I thought it was super cute. Um, but there's a lot to unpack here. You know, there's a pandemic going on. And, you know, as athletes, we already go through so, so much. And, you know, now having the pandemic um, still going on. And I can imagine what these athletes are going through. It must be so, so hard because... We are in each other's faces. We are in each other's atmosphere, in each other's, you know, space. So it's very, very different. I've never trained in a pandemic. I've never trained um, or competed during a pandemic. So I honestly can't even imagine what limitations there are as far as training and competing. So setting all my best, honestly. <laughs> One of the uh, nice things that I read about you is that, you know, you've always been dedicated to, to your craft. Even though you had injuries along the ways, you never gave up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Who inspired that motivation for you, Gabby? Was it, you know, self-inspired or was it somebody along the way that just made you just keep going no matter what? I, for me, my mom always, my mom and my community and my family members always, you know, were behind me through every single step. And I always had it within me to, you know, push and believe in myself, but I had, it had to be pulled out. And so I, I guess I say it's, it's you know, both. And um, now being, you know, growing and learning so many things, I um, have to say it's, you know, me pushing myself and driving myself to become the best version of myself. When you wrote the book, I mean, how exciting was it when Zandravan uh, started putting it in their stores and it was available to people like, to me, I mean, I'm not taking away any glory from your gold because that's exciting, but you've accomplished other oh, things yeah. too. No, let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about your book. Well, it was, it was for sure. It was super fun. You know, I had to dig and or dig up so many memories and just sit down with, with a writer and we were literally going back and forth. And honestly, it was written during a crazy time. I was on tour. So I would like, we would, I would tour and I was going through so many, or going to so many different cities and then just find these times to just talk and um, find these windows where I had to talk with a writer, but it was written during a crazy time. But honestly, I'm so glad with um, the reviews and, you know, positive feedback, but it was just such a different experience. And I was just so grateful to share my life experiences with the world. And sharing your life experience, you even did a television show where your siblings appeared in themselves, right? Like the like your family members. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. All beautiful. You're all yes. beautiful. <laughs> now, um, talking about oh, beautiful. Thank you. What? No, yeah, absolutely. I I was doing my research and I said to myself, <laughs> I was like, wow, look at her siblings. Everybody's glowing, um, and you're glowing today. And I see that you have product <laughs> near you. What What are you doing for your skin? Like, I what do. is this? So what is that line? Well, it was definitely, this is Remedy Dermatology Series, and this is a moisturizing body lotion. And for me, it was definitely not an overnight process. And, you know, there's so many things that we can incorporate, you know, in our diet and our skincare that's really going to benefit us. And I'm a huge advocate for mental health and physical health. I stay active to this day. Um, I don't think I'll ever not move because that's always been a part of my journey. But um, this is the moisturizing body lotion, and it has smooth and rich botanical formula. It's dermatologist tested. It's allergen free, and you can get it on Amazon or RemedyDermatologySeries.com. But it is so important to take care of our bodies, especially now with everything going on. So super important to you know 
have wellness and, and physical health and mental health incorporated into your daily routine. And I know even as an athlete, you know, because you were involved with chalk on your hands and, you know, the sweat from just being an athlete, you know, your skin <laughs> takes, you know, a lot of the um, mm-hmm. abuse. If you if you don't mind me saying it right, you're tough on your body, like your feet. Right. No, like my feet are like, you know, no, it's... <laughs> you need, feet sometimes need help. <laughs> No, yeah, honest, 100%, and it does. And especially as an athlete, you know, our bodies are already put on the line. We go through so many things, wear and tear. But even not as an athlete, you know, if you're, um, you know, if you have dry skin, then this would definitely work for you. Or even if you just want to have a longer lasting lotion and you just want to have moisturized daily skin, you know, you don't have to be an athlete. You can be, you know, we're all human and we all go through the same thing. So it's just, you know, give Remedy a try. I love that. Well, also, you were recently um, unmasked. So, you know, was it hot underneath oh, the was. costume? Ma- the masked dancer. <laughs> <laughs> it was very hot. I literally was drenched with sweat every single time. And they had to, you know, wash every single thing, sanitize everything, obviously, too, because of the pandemic. But I was just soaked. It was very hot under there. <laughs> You've gotten to do a lot of fun things, too, um, being who you are. And the journey is I want to say just beginning. I mean, you've had a great start, but you're still young. So you, who knows yes. what you're going to accomplish? <laughs> um, but I was interested in the fact that you picked music out for your routines. And did you actually get to meet uh, the mm-hmm. performers of that Olympic music that you performed to? And what was that like? Well, yeah, so we pick out our own music. Um, but I know I never met any of like the artists um, of of my routine, so I mean that that's an interesting. Thing. I think I've that never, should be on the to do list, I, Gabby. I think that's what we should do. We should make like, that yeah. happen because <laughs> you know I can just imagine like every single beat of that music is something that's now ingrained into your DNA. So I think we should make that introduction happen for you. I think that would be fun to see. I mean, hey, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. Um, and I would love to invite you back on the show sometime. You know, we're filming in New York, so we'd love to uh, have you here in person. But wish you just glorious journeys to you. I mean, being on the cover of the Cornflakes box, did you save your Cornflakes box? And do you still have a Gabby Douglas Barbie? Yes, <laughs> and yes the- my mom, yes. like, she loves memorabilia. She loves, like, just, you know, having a lot and just, you know, looking at it and, we do give a lot to other people as well because, you know, uh, there's something about when you actually have something in your hand. And I know with me too, when I was training and I got a leotard um, from one of the gyms I looked up to, and it's just something about that, like looking at it and feeling and touching it. And it's like, wow, like this is what my mentor wore and this is what she does. Like, I'm going to do it too. So we have a ton of stuff. <laughs> I so. love that. I love that. Our our whole uh, green room here is decked out with all kinds of memorabilia. So I hope you'll come and visit. I am definitely going to try yes. that uh, by re- uh, remedy because my the back of my arms have always been like not so great. I had frostbite on my feet when I was a kid. So I'm definitely going to check out the product. Oh my um, but thank you for joining us, Gabby. And joy to you always. No problem. Thank you okay. so much. Mm-hmm. You're Thank a you definite so winner. So sweet. Have a good one. Oh, you are too. Happy journeys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bye, hon. Be well. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. <laughs>